Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hold on to your diamond encrusted remotes and prepare yourselves for the flashiest Friday Night Live ever. Because tonight, it's bling bling night, Ike. To get you in the mood, it's time for the Big Brother Daily Show where Bodie's antics have caused a meltdown and left the house split between the cool kids and the geeks. See you at 7.30. <laughs> Coming up tonight, Bodie ups the ante on his pranks. I might put the porridge on, put a packet of Starburst through it. But it's the last straw for some. There's people in this house who see things that you do as being very irresponsible. If there's people in here you don't want to talk to and you don't want to get along with, you shouldn't have to. There's no need to be rude, Bodie. But seriously, you say it. Stop, stop. I just feel that Hayley is, I don't know, she, she seems like a very domineering character. I think Andrew at times is a little bit like this. Porridge on, because I never do anything around here. Uh, what are you going to put in it? You want help? <laughs> You're going to end up putting Starburst in <laughs> <laughs> Starburst porridge. <guys. laughs> this week's chef Emma has been making the breakfast porridge. Today, early riser Bodie decides to have a turn. I know. Put a packet of Starburst through it and see what they say. I made porridge, guys. Uh, <laughs> Come on, it was your idea. You have to help me. You just want me to get in trouble with you, Bodie. Come no, on. Let's cook porridge. <laughs> this is the best idea you've had since you've been here. Do you want to just put sultanas and almonds in Starburst? Yep. Yeah, porridge. Exactly. Chicken, it needs more water. Mango, banana, passion fruit. Okay, and the banana. People don't realise how much improvisation comes into cooking. <laughs> Seriously, man, once they taste this, they're going to make me the shopper chef. <laughs> yeah. We'll cook on breakfast. Yeah, folks, gee, that was all right, wasn't it? <laughs> it's bloody good. Seeing it was your creation, Demi, I'm going to get the spoon and you can have the first mouthful. <laughs> Do you reckon the, oat, the oats might not be cooked, so that'll be enough, they're not. But... They'd be rolling, they? Yeah. How good? Is it it's good? It's like bubble gum. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can you taste the juice? Yeah. <laughs> we put one of our nudie juices in there as well. <laughs> Beautiful. There you go. Everybody going, how yeah, they make that? The problem is, though, you'd like to be on the bloody porridge you get every morning now. Where's the porridge makers? Now everyone's going to want to throw porridge every, every morning. morning. I know. Yeah! But As we'll if say. I'm going to get nominated next week after making this. What do you put in it? Just eat it and enjoy. I'll give you one scoop and come back. Tell me, what do you think? How good is it? <gasps> yeah, it's good. Best you've had? What's in it? Best you've had? Best in the world. Is it really? It's the best. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't it the tastiest one you've had? Um, yep, definitely. It's hyper porridge. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Just what we need. Um, up and trying it, buddy. I can taste the banana in there too. Was there two bananas? 
there's one for today and tomorrow. Wait till you taste the porridge. Bodhi. He put two packets of Starburst in it. And a banana. Why did he do that? And a bottle of juice. What? Why did he waste all that food? You tell me. We're saving all that stuff, aren't we? Oh, that's what we thought. It's like irrational. It's exactly. childlike behaviour is what it is. Exactly. Like, look in the dictionary, under irrational, it says Bodhi. Or child. That just doesn't seem normal. Does he want people to be annoyed with him? It's your and breakfast. It's your main meal of the day. He mucks up so often, and every time I build a bridge, get over it, forgive him, I think it's all right. He didn't mean it. He's a good I person. I didn't know what to say to him. <laughs> and as soon as I go, OK, I'm positive I'm going to make something good out of this being with this person, yeah. he does something else, and I just go, oh, it's not an easy situation. I'm going to go assess it. And then maybe... Maybe Rebecca might have something to say when she normally Good luck. doesn't. Because you're just right. the fun police too. Oh, okay. Do we need to have a house oh. meeting? An intervention? Conflict, the yeah. person that runs away from Do conflict might say something. We can definitely something. have a meeting and just raise it. Do you think we should it? have a house meeting about this? About what? We can definitely about about living rules. together in a house. We can definitely all... have a chat about it. Yeah, and, go and over just being it. adults. Yeah. yeah I just... Like, there's time for fun and there's a time for just... For not making us starve. For not <laughs> wasting food. And being an idiot. After the break, Bodhi's intervention. Bodhi perhaps has given a little bit more of a disregard for the rules. And, and I respect your out. feelings, but I'm not going to change. Sorry. To evict TJ, SMS TJ to 199 evict. To save TJ, SMS TJ to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555574 and follow the prompts. Legion votes cost 55 cents, calls from mobiles higher. Lines close at 8pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday the 13th of May. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. Thanks for your time, Travis. Bodhi put lollies and fruit in this morning's porridge. While some housemates were amused, <laughs> others were horrified, leading to calls for a crisis meeting about his behaviour. I think we're here because of Bodhi's porridge this morning, am I guessing, right? That, yeah? I think that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I don't want to sit around here all day. I think each day more and more people get a bit more pissed off with things that you do, if you know what I mean. No? It's, like, it's not like I made Starburst for myself, you know what I mean? It's not like I ate Starburst for myself. I made a porridge and I thought it'd be a good idea and I, did, I thought it was great. I don't know. Who else liked my Starburst porridge? Be honest, don't be afraid oh, to put your hand taste up. Too bad. Did anyone else like Demi? Do you like it, Billy? I, I, didn't, I didn't know you little No, I'm not. I didn't get it tasted too bad. We need to discuss more about rations about yeah. whether yeah. we're given lollies or treats. Yeah. How are we going to designate them throughout the week? I don't think one specific person, chef or anyone, well, this, this conversation was <coughs> this conversation was directed at me because, no, as in, no. no, as you said, Andrew, we're here to discuss the things that you do that piss me off. Well, if I'm, I'm doing something that's pissing you off, you no, can I'm stand not... up and you can take me aside. I can quite happily live side by side with you yeah. and not get pissed off. That's why we need to talk there about. There are people in this house who see things that you do as being very irresponsible, very um, not decisions that. Would be made by someone of who do you need to be a source inconsiderate, mate? No, considerate of other people. We need to be rude about it. We're trying to have an adult conversation, mate. There's been a number of breaches of the rules, constant breaches of the rules, constant breaches of not just the rules that Big Brother makes, but ideas and understandings that we had a group, such as you know, not making people feel bad, not making people feel extradited from the group. And I know I'm getting called the fun police, but we all want to be able to have fun, not just one person having fun at the expense of everybody else. And I just think it's only fair that everybody feels comfortable because they all have to live here. I'm really hurt that there's not more people speaking out on this, do you know what I mean? I thought there was a lot more people in here that thought the same way I did. And the fact that you're not um, 
ballsy enough, basically, to just say how it is, because this is how it is, do you know what I mean? If there's people in here <coughs> you don't want to talk to and you don't want to get along with, you shouldn't have to. Just, just Don't get defensive, don't. we're just airing stuff, okay? Yes, it's uncomfortable, but this is the whole thing. We have to be mature and take this nip it in the bud approach, otherwise things are going to fester and upset each and every one of us because we can't okay, talk about I, I it. Accept, it's an ugly side I accept and I understand how you feel <laughs> and I respect your life. feelings, but I'm not going to change, sorry. Can I just say one more thing? Of course. Um, can we just like do a little show of hands, like numbers like this? Who's got fines? Do you know what I mean? And how many? I got two. Um, I think and we all do because we've got one. Let's just, I just want to. Yeah, but just everyone, just if you've got, if you've got a fine, if you've got a fine, well, ev yeah. everyone's is got a. Poker? I'm is trying to make a point here. Yeah. It's probably a long way around. Poker? Everyone's got but fines. Everyone's got fines. Mine's not so basically, Brady's standing up. <laughs> everyone. I got four. <laughs> needs to take it on board. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? But it's the blatant disregard is what we're talking about. Not mistakes by. Oops. Forgot that. That happens. Like no one's getting angry at anyone for that. It's when it's blatant and people are finding it amusing. Yeah, you <laughs> That's got one the point. It's not. Oh, I find getting a fine amusing. Yes. Which one? <coughs> We've seen many ones. That... Two. <laughs> I've got two. Are you blind? Don't. There's no need to be rude, Bodie. But seriously, They're you say a blatant disregard for the rules. Yes. I've got two fines. Does anybody not feel as though? Bodie perhaps has given a little bit more of a disregard for the rules and we have all tried then why our don't hardest. I, why aren't I doing this? You should. Why aren't I doing oh, this? Oh, oh, stop! 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 Every day. stop! I think what everyone's trying to say, okay? I think what everyone's trying to say is, Bodie, yes, you got two fines. We've all got different kind of fines. One, two, doesn't matter how many. Oh, now, I know yeah. you're excited, man. You're like an ADD kid on like, that's, that's like a bloody rabbit, you know what I mean? And, that, and that's great. You know, you're a clown. I love it. But I don't... So I think we, we need to be starting pointing fingers and going, you this and you yeah. that, you this. Because at the end of the day, game. when this meeting's yeah. over, we're still going to hold a grudge. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anyone got any other issues while we're here? And... Can no. I just say in advance that I'm a very non-confrontational person and I do not find it easy to discuss my feelings with people, especially if they have hurt me. Um... It's okay. Yeah. Stupid. You're all right. Um, and I understand if people don't get along with me, that's fine. But as a person, I'm really a non-exclusive person, and I value everybody, and I truly do, and I want to get to know everybody. Yep. Okay, baby. <laughs> all right. Anyone else? This girl was petrified to come out and say anything yeah. mm. because she was worried she was going to be shut down, humiliated and, and extradited from the group yeah. and judged because she is so d different on so many levels to so many of us. Do you understand that how brave she had to be to come in here? This girl has no one in here that really understands her. I don't even understand her. None of us will understand this girl. But she put herself out there and put herself in here so that we could learn, so that she could learn and she hasn't judged one of us, hasn't made us feel uncomfortable for anything we've said or done. And I think just the least we can do for her is make her feel secure enough in her own home that mm. she can say how she feels to whoever she needs to say that to. I never intentionally go out of my way to hurt someone's feelings and if there's people out there that I'm making you upset because I don't... Um, sorry, that's all I can say is sorry. Um, that's just me and I, and I don't deliberately go out of my way to hurt you, so... Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Everyone just makes an effort. Should be rosy. I reckon. Anyone got anything else? No. Next on Big Brother, sorry seems to be the hardest word. I don't think um, I've been nasty to you in any way. I don't think I've at all tried to not talk to you. I mean, it's just not in me to be cruel. Do a big Joel, SMS Joel to 199 a bit. To save Joel, SMS Joel to 199 to save. Or call 1902 and follow the prompts. The housemates have just finished a meeting held to address Bodhi's behaviour and the way some of them are being treated. I'll apologise straight up to the way to start the conversation, right? But, but straight out, I was saying it how it was. 
Rebecca, I'm sorry if I've upset you. It's not my intention. Um, I, I was completely honest with you last night, saying I think out of everyone in here, we probably least a mesh. But like Bodhi said, and I believe Bodhi for face value, it's not his or my intention to upset people. I think if you don't get along with someone, you just purely don't get along. Like you just, for some reason, just not clicking. But I don't think um, I've been nasty to you in any way. I don't think I've at all tried to not talk to you. I mean, it's just not in me to be cruel. You know, I'm from a big yeah. family. I have a small group I wasn't of friends. Thinking you were being cruel. And I would never. And it's not in me to be nasty. So if I have upset you. And obviously, you know, I, I have heard it is me and Bodhi, and perhaps there are others, I don't know. It's not my intention. Yeah. But everyone's seeing Hayley as like the mother mm. figure in this house. So whatever, every time someone goes and speaks to Hayley, see, there's a lot of problem. people in this house. Maybe that's the problem, because I don't see Hayley as the mother figure in this house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but then yeah. everything that goes through Hayley comes through me, and, yeah. and I have to sort of deal with yeah. that. And, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I'm quite happy with you, mate. But, you yeah, know, like everyone said, we've just got to pull our head in when it comes to the rules. And, it's probably good that we had this meeting, so hopefully from now on, like, you know. We'll make an effort, both of us. All right, I feel better now. Do you feel better? Yeah, much better. Yeah, OK. We can smile now. We can. We're not awkward anymore. No. Say, for example, someone has a fight with them and they go, sorry, we won't do that. nasty in here at the best of times, isn't it? No, Demi has told some of the other yeah. housemates she has a psychic sixth sense. So if you want to know what people are thinking about you, just come to me and say, Demi, what this about me? Name, name the name, I need to know the name. Rebecca. Likes you. Brody. Likes you. Yeah, no. <laughs> Zoran. 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 <laughs> isn't like infatuated with mm. you. Likes your body. Doesn't know. <laughs> Thomas. Fake. Yeah, I Jamie. What, hang on, are you saying that they think she's fake or they're being fake? They're being fake with her. Hayley. Fake. Um. I can't oh. believe we can't get it. Can you believe Did you hear about it? I don't know how we're going to resolve it. I don't what? think we can. No, hair dye. We can't Because it's going to be in Supermarket, so it's obviously going to come out of our weekly shopping. Do you need it? Shopping. Oh, I don't need it now, but, like, it's... Hayley will need it. I'm if sure if say Hayley or myself are in here in a couple of weeks, they'll need it. Do you reckon I charge triple? So, bring on the hats, chickies. Drag. I have a hat. <sighs> I have a hat. I'm trying to think if I even packed it. I packed the night before, did you guys? Two. Yeah. Two nights before. Yeah, I was yeah. so unorganised. Yeah. What about him? Hope you said because right, I like him. <laughs> honestly, I think they're both in it together. Oh yeah, big time. Big I said time. that. I said that day one when I found it. Not that they've they got. Came I reckon out. they've got a strategy. Yeah, yeah. You can see that. You can definitely see that. They're very competitive. When people lose money, they get really upset. Yeah. It's like this fifty grand ride. I feel like we've got mum and dad living with us. Yeah, they get really angry. Like if you don't have your costume on, they're like, "Don't laugh. Put your costumes on," and they're very, you know, mm -hmm. they they definitely, definitely, definitely um, are here to play and win. Which is fine, that's some people's goal. Billy, what do you think about Andrew and Hayley? Do you think they're playing the game? It's hard because I know her. And I've known her before this. Do you think she's me? Uh, I don't know, mate. It's, it's something Hello? That, here? Something that I didn't... I don't know. I didn't come in here with any preconceived ideas about what I wanted, so... I'm just going to see what happens. I, didn't, I thought I was going to be gone a week ago. <sighs> So you don't think so? What? Yeah. Coming up, is new housemate Nick choosing sides? Thanks for bringing us. Hi, thanks a lot. No, Cheers. Congratulations. 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 To evict Bodie, SMS Bodie to 199 evict. To save Bodie, SMS Bodie to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555575 and follow the prompts. Okay, what's going on? I'm As the, the golden house key person, what? like you extra privileges and a couple of other bits and pieces. Yeah. Big Brother has told Tonight, new housemate Nick he can choose three others to join him in the rewards room for a private party to celebrate his arrival. I would have taken everybody if I could have. I'm sorry. Cool. Um, it's cool, man. And those three people. Oh, cool. 
uh, Andrew and Hayley and Demi. Oh, cool. Oh. And just for the three of you, you've all been extremely welcoming and made me feel really comfortable and been very warm since I've arrived. So thank you very much. Cool. Oh, short time. Mr. Dressed. Brother, the reporter room <laughs> is now open. Very nice. Hey, hey. We're gonna have a party. <gasps> Thanks, Thanks, guys, for coming to my place. Wow. This is your house. See? Thanks for inviting us. Oh, look, look. Oh, that's my favourite. Fun plus I think it's fun. Oh, it's funny. Fairy tale. I've been out since I was like two years old. It's food. Oh, it was party pies and sausage rolls. Anyone oh. there, Nestor? And like alcohol. savory stuff. And oh. Oh. Jamie's been in there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Savory pastry man. Yeah. Well, that was unexpected. I looked up. All right, let's go. That's all right. I'll be in there tomorrow. Thanks. It'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Have you got a drink? Cheers. Some juice? Cheers, uh -uh. Cheers. Thanks for bringing us. Right, thanks a lot. No Cheers. Worries, to congratulations. And congratulations. <laughs> Open. Come on, John. Come on, darling. Um, yes. <laughs> you? <laughs> and... Oh, God. Oh. TJ, Joel, Cody, Emma. Big brother. Happy brother. brother. Happy brother. Can we have some party pies too? Yeah, I'm so hungry. Like, I'm, awesome, I'm, I'm happy. I'm awesome, actually, baby. I'm not happy for a few of the people in the rewards room. No, I can be honest mine. with that. But um, they were I'm, in last I'm happy week. that Demi, I'm happy for Demi, 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 we're all very Demi, happy definitely. for Demi. I feel that Hayley and Andrew may not have been the best choice simply because they did go in last weekend, so they have already experienced it and they've already got that advantage over people. And Bodhi hates Hayley. I so hate Hayley. That's it, full stop. My, my only problem is that... I don't know, I don't hate anyone, Big Brother. I just feel that Hayley is, I don't know, she, she seems like a very domineering character and I think Andrew at times is a little bit like this. <laughs> This is the best. Thank you so much for letting us come in here. Yeah. It's not, no, thank you. This is my thank you to you. Not at all. We've done it anyway. Mm. Like I have mm. a couple of people I would have really liked to. Yeah. How mm. are you supposed to really hey. know? Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah, there's the frost. How are you supposed to know, you know? Mm. Who's being real and who's not being real? And... Yeah. But I feel that I'm a good enough judge of character that I've picked the right. You're a pretty good judge of character, we can count. <laughs> no, i Bodie has one more prank up his sleeve before bedtime. He puts shaving cream on Billy while he sleeps. Keep watching Big Brother because coming up next is Friday Night Live. Who will win the power to change nominations and the chance to keep themselves in the game? To evict Zoran, SMS Zoran to 199 evict. To save Zoran, SMS Zoran to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts.